all right that's the end of day five so we had some more material left over and uh we brought it down to the culvert pipes here and i'll turn around and show it to you in just a minute we still had a little bit of this lip red clay left over and we put that over the top of the culvert pipe here so that we had the necessary uh cover over the pipe that the vendor calls for so today i went up this bank here and all of that used to start right there and slope down at just a steep angle hardly any bank here whatsoever so i basically came in and cut this bank back and laid up the material and compacted it down so it's a lot wider here coming into the two culvert pipes and because this culvert pipe's lower now all the water comes toward it when it's just running normal uh but when it rains it'll just it'll uh filter into both of them which we're good with this especially right now since we got to get in and do the concrete in there in the crack but um i'm interested to see how the landscape here is going to change on the creek uh when they had the first hard rain so this is packed in pretty good we were uh walking in it and uh, walking on this stuff and it's packed in pretty good uh but water's going to do what it's going to do so it'll be interesting to see we got to put rip wrap in the, uh some that big flat rock right there is going right here so we're going to have i'm going to cut this back just a little bit and we're going to have fabric right here and lay that flat rock right there so i cut the bank all the way back to there and leveled that out and filled in a ditch that was right there um, we've got another pile of material that we're going to use because this is on the top here now, the way it's supposed to be. Oh, and I cut in that swell that was there and kind of hand rate that stuff in. But because we put more material on top of the pipe, it makes it kind of more of a steeper drop off. Um, when you're on wheel vehicles, it's not that bad, but going over it in the tracks, you can feel it pretty good. So we're going to make sure we use that other pile of material that we have up there and build the road up some more so it's more of a gradual instead of a steep drop on the other side it'll be a little bit more gradual and build up the road some so that water that comes down right there will continue on around that side of the tree and through that swell and then uh but we we've got a huge pile of rip route it's not rip wrap it's just rock from out of the ground but we're gonna save some money on rip wrap and because the job took a little bit longer because of the soil we've been dealing with and we got some little rocks like that to go around and pick up but for the most part that field is now clear of all the little rocks and stuff so we got a few by hand we're gonna pick up we're gonna seed that tomorrow uh, we backfilled with all the bad material and see that was some it's actually that's actually topsoil and i was doing my best to try to get i even made another cut right here there was a, a knob there and i cut that down so i could get more dirt and save that because i want to put that on that's what i'm gonna use on top of the dam i mean the culvert pipe um to taper it off so we can plant some grass and grow some grass there but uh, all this is backfilled in now nicely and we're ready to put some seed on it tomorrow and we're not going to straw it we're just going to track it in and hopefully we'll get some rain on thursday and that will work out very nicely and we'll call this one a wrap tomorrow and uh, so we got the finishing details to put on it get it looking real pretty and everything have the homeowner sign off on it and uh we got some maintenance to do on the equipment tomorrow to make sure we're ready to we got a couple big weeks of some a lot of driveways a whole lot of driveways so we got that coming in next little bit and then we're going to be starting a large project for a, a company and I'm not going to say where they're at, but they're here in North Carolina. 
but uh, they want a parking lot done. And uh, so we got to do some clearing and grading and all that sort of thing. So we'll get some, definitely get some video of all that, the clearing and grading. That'll that will be probably a, a cause. It depends. I think if if we're trying to get it done without the county being involved, it's in Forsyth County, and they're ridiculous with their rule on getting grading permits. Every other county I've ever dealt with. You got to turn in a, an erosion control plan and for this job the extent of the erosion control plan literally is we're going to put up silt fencing and that's it there's there's no other no other things that have to be done we're not in an area that requires um any special EPA involvement or watershed or any of that sort of thing and so long story short because they only allow 10,000 square feet that's 100 by 100 folks that is ridiculous 10,000 square feet that you can clear and grade before you have to get an erosion control plan and then they don't allow you to say we're going to use silt fencing for erosion control and then their engineer sign off on it with the county you have to go hire an engineer or a surveyor who's going to write on one piece of paper use silt fencing so the permits like a thousand bucks or close to it the who knows what the surveyor the engineer is going to charge that's the kind of crap you have to deal with when you're dealing with the government all the time so people wonder why stuff costs so much so the company's now trying to decide do they want to do just 10,000 square feet and call it quits but this is a wrap for today we got tomorrow morning to finish up that'll be looking like a whole new thing tomorrow we'll have some rock over the top of it and down the sides and uh, have this graded out more gentle and uh, I don't think that's going anywhere for a while y'all have a good